Hi, welcome to Teach Me K channel. If you are watching my video for the first time, please do subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my videos. Also, don't forget to like and share this video. Hi, welcome to Teach Me K channel. In this video, I will show you how to use MS Excel templates for training trackers for employees. For an employee in an organization, whenever any training is to be planned. So this is one of the Excel templates that I have designed, which might be helpful for any of the employees in any organization. So on my screen right now, you are seeing the status for the training tracker for one of the departments which is named as excel group so in the first chart you will see a bar chart which is categorized into online classes and one more is classroom and in the second chart you will see the trainings how many are planned and how many are in progress and how many are completed and in the last chart you will see a pie chart which shows the number of hours consumed for the completed task and at the below you will see the summary which says there is one completed training with one hours of effort along with that it also says three online and one classroom trainings were conducted during the training period. So what you see on this worksheet is the automatically generated once you have the training plan ready and you have the status updated in your training tracker. So now let me show you how this data is auto generated once you have your training plan created and you have the status for each of the training topics so i have created another worksheet here which you will see as training tracker so let me go to that worksheet and show you how the training tracker looks like so what you see on the first uh, rows from row number two and until row number five so these fields are automatically filled in so in the further stages of the video i will show you how these are automatically populated here so just for your demonstration purposes so let me explain you what all the columns that i have used here for training tracker purposes for an employee so in the column c i have written as a training topic and column D is having mode of training and column E is having training hours and column F and G are the planned start dates and planned end dates for a particular training topic and column H and I are the actual start and actual end dates of that particular training topic and column J is the status column where you will see the status in three stages one is planned in progress and completed and column k and column l are generated based on the state change that you will make up here so in case for example if this particular training what you see as a serial number one which is excel template at the moment it is status as planned now in case if i change it to in progress so the status automatically gets updated the column k gets updated automatically so this is basically your system name and the column l will get updated with the current date and the time when this particular training topic was updated you could also update your any of your references or notes or remarks that you may have 
for a particular training topic and column here so similarly i have added for an examples i have added four topics here just to demonstrate uh, how the training topics could be added up here in this tracker now for example i will add another uh, training topic here with a serial number five i will write it as ms word here and the mode of training you will see a drop down here one would be the classroom and another would be the online so at the moment just for demonstration purposes i will select it as classroom mode of training and the number of hours that it might take for this particular training i will put it as two hours and i will plan it on 15th of september here and similarly the planned end date also i will put it as 15th of september 2022 and actuals on the day of your training when you are conducting so this particular actual start date and actual end date has to be filled in on the date of your training and accordingly even the status column has to be updated but now for the demonstration purposes let me put in the actual date at the moment similarly i will put in the actual end date as well with the same case so now uh, please look at the states carefully now for example you will see the column k and column l are empty here now for an instance i will select this particular training is planned so the column k and column l will automatically get updated here accordingly so you are seeing some red highlighted at the you know the cells here so now if i just hover over this particular serial number 5 which i have added here so it shows user tuesday 13 september 22 1934 43 seconds the status seems to be planned now let me show you another thing here now in case if i move the states to in progress and let me hover over my mouse here you will again see at the second line user which is in bold tuesday 13 september 22 1935 there is a time change along with the state as in progress so now let me show you again if in case if i change the state to completed and now let me hover over my mouse here so now you will see again there is a third item which is added or the third line which is added which shows as user tuesday 13 september 22 1935 the status has completed so this is again an automated way where whenever a particular trainer would also want to record the status of each of the trainings that he has taken for the particular participant in the training so this is also a way where a, a trainer could also track and monitor each of the training topics that he has taken to the particular participant in an organization so now let me show you directly going back to the status worksheet so how this would look like so now you saw the charts got updated here automatically and similarly you could also verify in the first chart online classes are three and the classroom trainings are two so let's go back and check here in the training tacker worksheet if they are appropriately the same so let me go back online r3 and classroom r2 so that's how the chart gets reflected here and similarly let me show you with the states changes here planned is one in progress is two and completed is two similarly let me go back to the training tracker worksheet see planned is one in progress is two completed is also two so similarly the chart has updated here automatically so now the final one final chart says the completed so this is basically i have uh, made it 
how much hours is consumed for the completed training topics so now you will see it has a pie chart which is showing the number as 3 so 3 is the consumed number of hours for the completed trainings so now let me go back and check here so if you see i have two trainings completed here so one is serial number 5 which is of 2 hours and serial number 3 which is of 1 hour so combining them i will have the sum as 3 hours so that's how this chart also shows how much uh, hours is consumed for completed list of trainings and now you will also see the statement here getting updated automatically under the summary section which says there are two completed trainings with 3 hours of effort so this statement too even gets updated automatically and also it says there were three online and two classroom trainings were conducted here so this is how the uh, charts also get updated here automatically and also you will also be able to fill in the training topics just uh, like this in this particular sheet and you could also be able to update the status which also helps you track the training topics as well so now let me show you how this particular trainer as what you see here as ajay participant as amit and department as excel group which is been updated here so when uh, you would want to use it for yourself for the first time you will have to update your particular set of data in the data worksheet that is provided here so now you will see the company name which i have written as teach me ak and department as excel group and trainer name is ajay and participant name is amit so that's how it would get reflected here automatically similarly in the cover page as well so the data gets updated here teach me ak is the organization of the company name excel group is the department name trainer who is ajay participant is amit so you can also update your remarks if any and in, in this cover page as well so now let me show you just uh, by deleting these rows or the fields and just to reflect and demonstrate how it looks like now i have deleted the fields here in the data worksheet let me go back to the training tracker so now you will see the trainer field and the participant field and the department field and the company name are all empty so wherein once you fill in the data here only then these would be getting updated similarly you can also go back to the cover page which also reflects with the empty where these datas are not filled in so now let me show you by just filling up again so let me try to fill it up here again as company name as teach me ak and department name as excel group and trainer name is amit and participant name is ajay so you will see uh, as and when the particular fields are filled in it would also ensure that you have filled in and it would also put a check mark here which also ensures that none of these fields are left empty so now let me go back and look at this training tracker worksheet so that's how you would also be able to see that these fields are automatically filled in and since i already had the training topics along with the statuses here so the status chart also gets updated so i hope this template would be useful to many of us who might be working in organizations or any companies where it might be required to plan the training topics for any new employee or new joinee who joins the particular team 
so i hope this video is also very helpful to you i would drop the location where you would also be able to download this file in my description of the video you could also drop in the suggestions how this could be better utilized or if you have any further suggestion in improvising the particular template for further usage please do drop me an email you could find the email also in the description of my video thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos like this thank you bye bye